Well, hello there, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to Pal World. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. We might have a uh, couple of hiccups here at the beginning of the stream uh, with the internet. The server did crash just before we started, so I'm rebooting the server here. And since I'm running it on my own network, the um, might have a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a blips every once in a while. While everybody's logging back into the server. But I do hope everybody's having a great day. Thank you for coming to hang out. We're making it back to another weekend. Uh, thank you all so much for coming to hang out and for the support on all of the Power World content. Uh, got a lot more videos that are coming out over the next couple of days. Uh, kind of just general purpose stuff. We've had a lot of fun experimenting with things uh, since the game released. Um, but going to be working on some of my co more like long form content that y'all can... Uh, can check out as far as, like, you know, best pals to get to be able to for certain circumstances, all that stuff. Uh, released the final breeding video that everyone should need this morning. I know I've released uh, probably two or... Th I guess that is the third breeding video, aside from, like, a breeding a uh, um, base-specific video. Um, but the, the newest one is definitely the end-all, be-all of uh, everything you need to know about breeding. So if you've been curious about that and, strugg and or struggling with it, make sure to check it out. I do have to grab all of my pals out of here. I see OBS is having some trouble, so I'm just going to pause for a second. We should be okay now. Or uh, maybe? Maybe, just maybe, maybe now. They're just waiting for the stream to stabilize after getting the server booted. Uh, we've got almost everybody online, I'm assuming. Finally, uh, Bren something, and uh, now to wait an hour for my egg to hatch. Have I fixed everything after yesterday's incident? Yes, yes I did. I fixed everything after yesterday's incident. Um, aside from, I have to actually heal up all my pals because they ran out of food last night. Uh, so I forgot to feed up their feed bin before I went to bed. Bow, 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 bow. You need to refresh if there is no stream showing. Okay, anyways, uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and hatch some of these eggs. I gotta heal up uh, a bunch of my pals. Ooh, okay, we got Swift on that fang lope. Uh, still hatching some of the eggs from that video of the breeding video that I released this morning. I would like to get a fang lope for myself. We'll see how that goes. This is mine, mine. Um, okay, we got the loop moon and the... And the Verdash still working here, which means I can actually throw them back in the pen if they're not already. I'm going to throw them into the center one. Dragonfruit, what's going on? I hope everybody's having a great day. Sorry for the hiccup at the beginning here. Uh, I host the server from my, uh, my home here in, uh, in Georgia, and I have Spectrum Internet. If uh, you haven't been familiar with Spectrum Internet, it is hot garbage. Absolute garbage. Um, I don't know why the, the audio is not showing up in OBS either for the game audio. I have everything set right, uh, but OBS is having some issues right now. Uh, Finch, thank you for the 19 months. How are you? And Tony, how are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. I will right, we'll get them breeding because I would like to get a good fang lope for myself. Let's figure out why the uh, the lovely internet or uh, not internet. Why my uh, my stuff's not working here? Properties. There we go. Right, I just had to switch them back and forth, and now we're good. Sorry about that. Nefertiti, how are you doing? I bred a Van Wyrm Chris. Thanks to you. Oh, hey, oh yeah. What's all the speed boosting passives, not including legendary? Uh, Swift, runner, and nimble. Swift, runner, and nimble. Okay. Uh, we are going to adjust this. I am using a mod right now that um, 
drastically. Uh, it turns on ray tracing in the game. It can cause some a uh, little bit of lag though. So, anyways, today got a little bit of hiccups at the beginning of the stream, but we are going to be hunting Shadow Beak. I also want to start working on getting our OP. Grizzbolt. I want to be messing around with Grizzbolt. I haven't made the saddle yet, but we did catch some the other day. So it's going to be a mix of breeding pals. We're going to try and catch maybe a, um, a legendary today. I'm not 100% sure. I kind of want to get a couple more Frost Stallions. Grizzbolt should be around level 20, I think. What level is Grizzbolt saddle? You can catch it in, at level 20, so I imagined... Wow, you can't actually ride it until level 40? Really? Interesting. Okay. Hi from Mont Montana. Love the streams. Thank you, Trey. Thank you very much. I need to eat. We need to get some money. I've got 127,000 right now, which is not bad. Um, let's see here. We need some salad. Let's make 114 of that. We need to get our Lylene's and everything out to actually breeding. Wait, why are the... We have Lylene, but they're kind of just derping around. We need some stuff to water. We will go with this one and this one. I just want to make sure I get everything. I want to stock up on a lot of food is essentially what I want to do right now. So I'm just going to fill up my base with everything that I need for that. Get some of those. We've got a Verdash. Probably grab two Verdash. There we go. That should take care of business. We can stock up on food here for a bit. I think Lexara gave me this Lily Knocked. It's a boss one. Ooh, it's actually really cool. I'm going to save that for later. Oh, hell yeah, Bree. Farmed all Black Marketeers for 650k. Nice. That's what I need to do right now. RM, thank you for the five gift memberships. Thank you very, very much. All right, so we have 63 legendary spheres. Ah, oh, I forgot to do something. Apparently, there's a bug in the game right now where if you enhance your Lift Monk effigies, what actually happens is instead of increasing your catch rate, it decreases it. And we've already got low catch rate on the server, which explains why we have not been able to catch anything with legendary spheres the past couple of days. It has been an absolute nightmare. And uh, and it all makes sense now as to uh, as to why that's a thing. Did I forget to put a fire dude in here? I did. We need uh, one Jormantide, but mine are all butthurt about literally everything except for this one. What's the best food to feed your pals? The most sustainable, in my opinion, is the salad. Um, it gives you a decent sanity increase per eat, and it improves their work speed. So every time they eat one of the salads, they're going to... Not enough electricity. Oh, shoot. Let's fix, let's fix, let's fix. We need... Yeah, we'll use Univolt. I think it's the most sustainable, the salad. It's 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 a really good one. It's a great upgrade from cooked berries. Salad so you can focus berries and flour on cakes. Exactly. Exactly. This game has gotten to be such a comfort to me now that barely an hour playing it and I want to go to sleep. Aww. <laughs> oh, I wonder if somebody has been taking down the Black Marketeers. I'm going to give it a second to see if one spawns here. We'll see what happens. I haven't, uh... I've heard the thing about the effigies reducing catch rate instead of increasing from a few people in the comments. I have There's no way for me to confirm if it's true or not. Um, I don't remember seeing anything released by Pocket Pair about that, though. It's just what I've been told. 
All right, I believe somebody took down this black marketeer already. Oh, yeah, we'll go to the other one. We'll go to the level 50 one. I need to get back on the server. I'm just lonely little bean with no home or pals yet, though. It took a bit of a break from gaming. Oh, Torrens, there's nothing wrong with taking a break from gaming. That is for sure. The server will still be here. I hope you're doing well. Billy, do you still get good information? Yeah, you do. Get over it. Do, do, do. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I can chop my own wood so it's not a game breaking. That's a really weird bug to have on Xbox. And also having pals in the breeding pen go to sleep but never wake up on their own. Yeah, that is a new bug. So they fixed... <laughs> They fixed it so your pals will technically not unassign themselves from the breeding pen anymore. But now we've got a new bug. Where instead of them unassigning themselves, they go to sleep permanently and don't wake up. So that is happening across the board. It is, uh, it is not specifically just you. I've encountered it quite a few times now as a bug. Um, the quickest way to do it is just unassign... <laughs> now, we, now we have to unassign them instead. So just unassign it from... Uh, like, basically, put it into your party, drag it back in, and toss it back in. You won't lose egg process. Like, say they're, like, 99% done with laying an egg. If they're stuck sleeping, just put them into your inventory, put them back in the base, and toss them in the breeding pen. And they'll still be at 99%. So, they, you won't lose the progress of the thing. How many ultra spheres do we use to catch the frost stallion? Uh, I believe it was something around 30 something. <laughs> and the trick is to do it while they're sleeping. Um, so you, you go to the frost stallions while they're asleep and you take them down that way. And that's how Lexar was able to get it early. An ice missile being broken is a bit of a pain, too. Oh, shoot. Out here getting blasted. Hmm. <laughs> 0.7%. Oh, my God. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Yeah, so there's definitely something weird going on with, uh... Yeah. With ice missiles. I've noticed that ice missiles really aren't working right the past couple of days. They don't seem to hit anything anymore. Especially in tight quarters like this. Yeah, there's no reason this black marketeer shouldn't be getting in this ball, this like legendary ball at almost no health. There's a misunderstanding about the effigy bug. The bug isn't it decreasing the shown capture rate; it's decreasing the actual capture rate while showing increased rate on the spheres. So you're literally saying the same thing that it's decreasing the capture rate, which is what I said, right? Anyways, the effigies are decreasing your capture rate instead of increasing it. So until that's fixed, I would recommend either upping your capture rate settings or um or don't using don't don't use the effigies for right now. We wouldn't be having this problem right now. <laughs> I'm going to end up using all my legendary spheres on this. This isn't worth it. I'm going to do two more. Yeah, I'm just going to kill it. It's not worth it. No tag, you said it decreased the capture rate, not that it decreased the capture rate. What the? What? Are you on crack? 
Am I on crack? What is happening right now? I feel like I'm in some kind of alternate reality right now. Boop, 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 boop. Speedy boy. Boop, 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 boop. He's way too fast. Zoom. It was a joke. Man, I'm too tired for jokes right now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was a nuance to what people are saying since some people see the rate go up visually, but you're correct that the rate is going down. I think they are just clarifying. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, so to clarify, visually, it shows that your rate is going up, but mathematically behind the scenes, your rate is actually going down. So... That is, that is actually a really good point, because a lot of people are be like, well, I see it going up. So that's actually a really good point to raise. I should have, uh, I could have clarified that a little bit more. You're right. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to do this server some justice right now, and I'm going to fix that. Because there's really no way to fix it. I meant to do that before the stream, and even though the server crashed before the stream, I didn't fix it. I'm going to fix it right now, though. Um... Because if I ignore it, everybody's going to be wasting their time. It's really, really bad. Oh, bully. It's super easy fix. I meant to fix it last night when I heard about it, but I didn't. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's do that. Let's see if that fixes. I think from what I was told that doubling the capture rate should resolve the issue. Um, we're going to see a blip on Steam again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as I kind of restart the server and people who log back in. Uh, so kind of bear with me. If you see the, st uh, the stream like start loading or crashing, we're not gone. Um, it's just OBS. I have Spectrum Internet. It's really, really bad. Uh, I, I It sucks. I'm going to be moving as soon as I can to get better internet again, but... Is that why Gigaball is dull 100% rubies for you? Yeah, it's visually saying 100%, but they're still escaping, right? That was the big indicator that there was a big problem. All right, so just bear with any internet problems. We'll probably have a, a couple problems here for a second. You're going to see the screen go black for a moment because I need to type in my server information to reconnect. And, uh... We'll be good. Sorry, anybody who's on the server that experienced a abrupt crash. And we're back. It's good grass type to use. I mean, honestly, it's there's no PvP in the game right now. It's just use what you want. You can make any pal in the game really, really strong. Um, but if you want to know what statistically the best grass type is, it is a Lilene. Um has the most attack power, at least. Verdash is pretty good. Can I do a moving stream? Not moving stressful enough. You want me to stream while I do it? Ooh, the Black Mark Tears back. Nice. Okay, let's do a uh, another test and see if we can actually capture it this time. <laughs> Watch it not have worked. Man, crystal ice missile sucks now. What happened? It was so good. All right, not as bad as it was before, but still no reason I should be not catching this black marketeer. <sighs> My first Frost Alien yesterday with three to four legendary spheres. The Ormatide Ignis took like 10 to 12 to catch. <laughs> yeah, it can get pretty bad. 
You can't run Ice Missile. It's useless at the moment. Yeah, I've seen that. So notice how we got 25,000 gold and two gold coins. Well, now what we can do is... Uh, well, we're going to catch a couple of them first. All right, just waiting on uh, OBS to fix itself. Man, Ice Missile used to be so freaking good. All right, looks like internet may have stabilized. Oh, Renwin, watched the Final Fantasy XI stream. A nice trip down Nostalgia Lane for you. One of my... I mean, honestly, it was... Uh, that MMO is what got me into gaming, really. I mean, not necessarily, but that's the first game I super got addicted to when I was younger. Did I ever fix my Shadow Beak? No, my Shadow Beak's got the brain worms, unfortunately. Where the uh, Fanglope with Swift and Runner is, is already pretty good. It definitely sucks that you haven't gotten Nimble on there, but I mean, honestly, the way you got to set up right now is it's going to be fast. I'll tell you what. Final Fantasy XI is still going. I know. I played on the uh, that private server for uh, for a while. Hit 75. Got a lot of the stuff done on there. Really, really enjoyed getting to spend some time back in the game. I got super unbelievably horribly addicted to it again. There we go. Okay. That's close to being back to back to normal. That's good. All right. I feel like that's all the money we really need right now. What is the benefit of playing on a private server? I mean, it's literally if you just want to play with other people. There's no benefit to it whatsoever. Honestly, playing on a private, playing on a playing on a dedicated server is just only stat worse than playing solo. There is absolutely no benefit to it. Uh, everything takes longer. You can't sleep through the nights. Um, there's no benefits. Um, if you want to play with people, though, it's the only way. Unless you invite them to your private server or dedicated. <sighs> to your solo game. Why are all my pals derpy? That's a pal merchant. Black Marketeer, and I know I need them here and here. <laughs> Give me my money. Come on. Make it rain the goods, baby. There we go. Yeah. Is it worth get taking an Anubis to four stars? Um, if you really, really want... I am pretty much... Three Anubis is still better than one really good Anubis. So if you're going to use an Anubis at a crafting table, I think it's nice to have one really good one. But three is still better than one level four star one. I think. 
Bragging rights, sure. It's going to be more powerful if you use it for combat. Definitely. Basically, if you use anything for combat, yeah. That's right. 259,000 now. We got some more food. We could take this over here. Hey, Omsi, how are you doing? What it do, what it do. Should I skip Van Wyrm and go straight from Nightwing to Beacon? I think Van Wyrm is better, in my opinion, than Nightwing. <laughs> it is also faster and has... Uh, I, don't, I don't have the numbers on hand, but I like Nightwing. Or I like... Van Wyrm more. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to try and get Fanglope. Let's see if I have any good Grizzbolt. Uh, we've got some Legendary Spheres. I need to craft up more because the capture rate is still a little bit broken, so we're probably going to blow through a bunch of these. I have got almost no Palmetto Ingots. Hello, Stop Stop. How are you today, you wonderful bean? Having trouble optimizing your base? Any tips? I've got a video that I released yesterday. Well, honestly, the last two days. I gave, uh, I've released a tips video um, that I highly recommend watching. And I also released a like perfectly optimized breeding base video yesterday. But that video will encompass really everything you need to know for optimizing any base, really. It's all about uh, proper placements um, of like all of your things. I recommend checking it out. That was yesterday. If you want to know everything there is possible to know about breeding, I released a video on that today. All condensed down into one video with one editing mistake that nobody will shut up about. I watched that video four times. And you know what's hilarious is after watching it four times and even people pointing it out, I was like, what is wrong here? I didn't even recognize it after it was pointed out to me. So I think maybe I have a brain tumor. Uh, I know I switched editing softwares and things like that, but... The fact that I didn't notice it, I was super proud of that video. I was like, man, I I put so much work and effort into that video. I edited it multiple times to make sure there was no problems, and still one freaking slip through, and everybody was like, oh, I'm so butthurt about my life. I had to rewatch 10 seconds again. Oh, my God. I should honestly re... I mean, but if we're being completely honest... I should probably re-say every single thing that I do in a video multiple times because people still ask the same questions that I answer in the video because they clearly don't watch it. So maybe if I do repeat every sentence I say two or three times, they might actually learn something. It really wasn't that bad, though. <laughs> I had no idea. I was like, oh, I just really wanted to talk about this particular thing, apparently. <laughs> Because <laughs> I remember hunting for those eggs and recording two different uh, two different things around this area. And I guess when I rewatched it, I was like, oh, this is just when I'm in the second, like, when I found the egg. But I ended up putting that twice. There are creators that deliberately leave retakes. Um, I mean, there has been instances where I've deliberately left a retake because it was funny. But people leave comments like, oh, he's doing it for more watch time or like to get past eight minutes. I'm like, the video is 20 minutes long. <laughs> I'm not trying to get past eight minutes. It doesn't make any sense. I'm just an idiot. All right. I can I can learn uh, stuff in a video game real good, but I suck at editing. Clearly. I gaslighted myself into believing it was not an editing fail. <laughs> Maybe I'm old and I missed it. Maybe that's my problem. I think I'm just getting old and uh, I didn't even notice it. I even clicked on the timestamp of when people were saying they were seeing it. And I I had to watch it four times to realize that I messed up. Miles Beasley, thank you for coming to Super Bean. How are you? Oh, that's interesting. The lucky glow for a Gale Claw is on the ground rather than on it. People got that TikTok attention span? Yeah, it's a freaking plague. Don't worry, that mistake wasn't as bad as you blowing up the base and being stuck in a dunce cap. That's the real hard truth of it all. 
You're a hundred percent right. All right, let's, uh... I need to buy some stuff. We need a medical merchant. I was going to craft the materials, but I know I don't have all the resources for it, so I'm going to buy... some of these. I'm just going to buy uh, 21 of them. I recommend crafting those, not doing what I just did. But today's a lazy day, ladies and gentlemen. And it's going to be great. I put it down to a quirk of the vids now. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I My mind doesn't see it. I li it's, it actually drives me insane because I'll sit there and edit a video. I'll be like, okay, I've edited this down perfect. I, I've actually gaslit myself to the point of thinking that it's the software re-putting in the cuts that I made because I did switch software recently and I've never had this issue with, with other software. Every time I've switched to DaVinci Resolve is the only times I have issues with the editing. And I am fully convinced that I make a cut and when I export it, that cut still exists in there. Like, maybe I'm deleting it the wrong way. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm losing my mind. It's absolutely bananas. I truly feel like I'm going insane sometimes. It, bo it boggles me. I'll be like, oh, man, this video's perfect. I'm not going to get any of these comments. I did such a good job. <laughs> and then I wake up in the morning, and it's all the comments I read. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm a failure again. I've done it again. I'm not doing that again. Mm -mm. So not the closet wine? No, it was not the closet wine's fault. I going to do videos on breeding the perfect legendary? No, I mean, I did my final breeding video today. There is not a single piece of information in that video. Every single piece of information in that video will help you do every single thing you want to do in breeding. There is no other information anywhere on the internet um, that is more in more detail than when I provided for that just like all the other breeding videos but it's a it's a learning process you know trying to piece all this stuff together without data mining and all that stuff has been a, it's actually been a, one of the most enjoyable processes that I've had for the game it's been fun figuring it all out the only thing that we need more information on oh Got the fang lope with legend, swift, and a runner. That's my new baby. Let's freaking go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, you might have other content creators watch my video, take all the information, and put it in a better, more interesting video, which is perfectly fine. It's happened for every other breeding video that I've released, so it'll happen for today's as well. Um, the only thing that we need more information on is the same thing that I talked about, which is the PAL IVs. We don't know what the min and uh, what the min and max ranges for those are yet. Um, a lot of people are still confused about it, even after my video. So it's a bit of a bummer, honestly. Oh, this one's a pacifist, so it has negative twenty attack. Um, but people keep. Th like, there's a lot of comments that say they don't believe that the IVs pass down, but they do. They do very much. Um, the problem is, people don't think that the IVs... This is actually something that I want to talk about in this video, because it might actually help a lot of you. The IVs do pass down. They are passable. So, you get two pals. For instance, we are breeding this Verdash and this Lutmon. And they're going to make a baby. Now that baby, now all of the eggs that they get, all the eggs, they can have different stats because it's going to be inheriting different levels of the attack. I don't think it works like IVs in Pokemon. I think there's something else that we just don't know yet. Um, but say I get, I hatch 10 of these eggs from this Verdash and this Lutmon, and I get a whole bunch of Fanglope, right? Now if I find two Fanglope, which I actually think I just did uh, right here, this Fanglope's base attack is 110, this is 108. Uh, so there's a slight difference here, but the defense is exactly the same. So we're inheriting... We have the same defense. So every time we breed these two together, no matter what, we're going to get the same def defense. But we might get a slightly different attack. Now we're looking at the base attack value, not the decrease because of the passive skill. But essentially, if these two were both exactly the same, 108 attack and 57 defense, 
And this one had 108 attack and 57 defense. Every baby that these two hatch will have 108 attack and 57 defense. God dang it, Tyr, what are you doing? Uh, let's see here. I can do an example if I can find one real quick as proof because people don't believe me. Tyr, please stop. No. This is 233 and 162. 249 and 162. This one has much better attack stats. Oh, this was actually the example that I was using for the IVs. There's a science to this breeding thingy? Yeah. I know people are telling me I'm wrong, but I've tested this for 200 hours. Um, and I can prove it to you. I just need to find one. And I'll prove it live during the stream. And then you'll have no freaking choice but to believe me. Ugh, this is as close as it's gonna get. The, uh, the Van Wyrm here with 120 attack. So we'll do the- Is this a male and female? It is. Okay. Um, we'll do it with this one. And you'll see every single time we'll have 120 attack on these babies. Every single time. Bow, bow, bow. VC, you should probably listen to what I'm saying instead of trying to argue your point that is not anything compared to what I am trying to tell you. Yep. So it's just like arc then? Exactly. It is very, very similar to the arc breeding. Um, I'm almost certain that they took some kind of similar... Um, I think it's a point system. I don't think it's IVs. I've tested this so much. I'm pretty sure... So anytime you catch um anytime you catch a dinosaur in arc all of those levels say it's um they have base stat it's so hard to it's so hard to explain but essentially I don't think it's an IV system I think it's a point system so each pal has a certain number of points they can put into attack and defense and they have this set number of points at level 1 so right now we have X number of points to give us 109 attack and X number of points to give us 57 defense and X number of points to give us 570 health. This X number of points can be applied in any way to health, attack, and defense. Now the thing is, it's not going to... So when we breed these two Van Wyrms, these two Van Wyrms have 120 attack. This has... Wait, what did I screw up? Oh, shoot, it leveled. This one had... God dang it, it leveled. This one had 120 attack before it leveled, because they were both level 2 before I put it in there. How did it level? God dang it. Hold on, can we get a level real quick? There we go. That way the numbers are visually the same. There we go, 130 and 130. Every single Van Wyrm baby that we hatch out of this is going to have 130 attack. I'm just going to mute VC because he's spreading wrong information. And uh, once I approve it, because I've done it a million times, uh, you will see. And he's just going to be permanently banned. Can you show the spot on the map real quick? Yeah, it's right here. Breeding adds another dimension to the game. Do you think they're going to get uh, attack with mutation? Uh, get more attack with mutations like Ark? There's no mutation system in the game as far as we can tell at the moment. I don't know if they'll add it. See, if one of them had 120 attack and the other had 130 attack, well, you can't go by level. So right now, that's why I specifically did this um, with two level three Van Wyrm, so y'all wouldn't get confused about the attack. Like, you have to make sure you look, you're looking at the same levels, and you can see the stats. Now, we do have different passive skills on here, but we both have 130 attack. Now, the babies are going to have 130 attack no matter what, and... Except we have to get them to level three first. Because if you're looking at a level three and the baby pops out at level one, it's going to have less attack. We need to get to level three to see if it's exactly the same. I wanted to do it with level one's... Anyways, but the only difference... So the babies will always have the same attack when they pop out. How are you level 4 now? Screw you. <laughs> Alright, they're both level 4. 
But the babies, so the babies will always have the same attack, but the defense will change. Anyways, it's, it's a freaking nightmare. But you can also see here that when this guy leveled up, we got one extra point into attack versus this one. And that's because it does have that less defense than the other one. So this one has like, like a 0.5. The, the system is really weird. But you can see the slight dis discrepancy here. That's why it's so hard to explain why there's so much confusion into it. And until we get like the actual data mining results, uh, it's going to be it's going to be more difficult to explain. Uh, and a lot of people are just going to get confused about it. All right, so we need to go up here for shadow beaks. Maybe leveling to spite you. Yeah, <laughs> leveling while baby making. They gain experience from doing things in the base. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I forgot about that. I don't think there are natures or anything like that. I believe it's just a stat allocation of some sort. We just don't know what the numbers are behind it. I don't think it's IVs. I don't think it's natures. I think it's similar to the same system that Ark uses. We just don't know what the numbers are behind it. Just let people be confused. They either watch your videos and take the information or they don't, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> But as you just saw, even though they have the same attack, um, there could be like that slight discrepancy in the allocation to the attack where it will become like one off than the other. So until we actually get the data mining and the numbers behind it, it's just really hard to explain. Are the pals you're using now the pals you're going to be using for fighting? I'm going to use a whole bunch of different things. I'm kind of just having fun with it right now. Ooh, Shadow Beaks right off the bat. <laughs> Ooh, Lord hath mercy upon my soul. I did not mean to do that. Didn't want to kill both of them or one of them. Let's go. Ooh, a Shadow Beak with Workaholic. Has no negative passives on that, so that's kind of what I'm looking for right now. It's just no negative passives. The stat allocation is probably a 10 level interval than each level. It's a little bit confusing, but as we hatch those eggs, um, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. There'll be slight variances, but it'll get closer and closer. Gotta go to work now. Dragon Fruit, I hope you have a good day. <laughs> Oh, let's just uh, fly up here. Gonna make a video on sphere farming? Yeah. Uh, I'll have money in sphere farming. I think I'll do separate videos. So basically, uh, my goal right now is to kind of go back through a lot of the videos that I've that I've made. Um, and doing more long-term searchable videos for everybody. So, like, you know, best way to make money. Like, I, I've done a lot of tips videos. But essentially, from now on, the videos I'm going to be releasing for the next couple of days for kind of long-term searchability for people is like, you know, you know, five best ways to make money. Because you're going to need ones at early game, mid game, and late game. So it'll be the three best ways to make money. Um, then it'll be, you know, the best miners early to mid game, uh, best farmers early to mid game, or early to late game, etc., etc. Uh, so that way, everything that you'll possibly need for Power World will be available on the channel. So some of it will be things that you've seen before, but in a more searchable term for people, and all condensed into one video. Breeding video was the first one. I've released two breeding videos, uh, each with their own really good information, and today's was just a combination of every single thing that I've learned for those videos and since those videos. <laughs> How's my day been? Pretty good. Pretty good. How's your day been? Do ones for souls if you haven't? Yeah. I uh, I need to do that. That one will be a short video, so it'll be like a couple minutes. <laughs> XD. Thank you, thank you. It'll update the game and all your videos will be outdated. Yeah, that happens a lot. And then guess what? I have to go back, retest everything, and then make new videos. <clears throat> 
a lot of the videos will stay relevant and a lot of things will change. <laughs> souls is actually what you need right now. I can tell you right now how to do it. It's easy. Um, so if you need low level souls, like uh, level one souls, you go through this area and you loot chests. You need mid-level souls. You go through, uh, well, level two souls. You'll get both large and level two souls from going to these zones right here, these top three zones. You'll get both medium and large. And basically all of your small pal souls will come from chests in this area here. You'll get small in the, in the lower level areas. You get small and medium in, the, in these. And then you'll get small, medium, and large in the end game zones. And that's all you got to do. Let's go around and pick up chests. Get a fast mount. Breed up a fang lope. Watch the video I just did today and get yourself a, a sweet speedy boy. It's really easy. Oh boy, it's dead. I'm s Ooh, it missed. Yeah. Any plans for team building videos? I did one and it was the worst video that I've released on the channel. Um so no. I feel like that's a I feel like I like giving information out for people to build what they want. Like I don't like telling people like these are the main Pokemans that you should use and nothing else. Like, I want to teach you how to build anything good and then let you have fun with the game. Uh, but if if people really want, like, those teams, I've done that. I did that with Sweepa. I did that with the Fire Pals. I have a really good idea for some other ones. Um, the Sweepa video did good. The Fire Pals one did not. But maybe that was my fault. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's really easy already then, excuse me, I'll go cry next to my 80 plus fanglope eggs. I wasn't saying breeding a speedy fanglope is easy, I was saying getting the, the, <laughs> the souls is easy. It took me, I mean, I highly recommend watching my breeding video. It took me 15 eggs to go from no fanglope whatsoever to getting all of, like 15 eggs across the board from all of my crossbreeding and everything to get a perfect fanglope. And I got two of them. Two of them took me 18 eggs. So like you can believe I'm a good content creator or not, or that I that I show good information, but I've got a lot of experience and I got a lot of pals to show the effort. Hatched one during this live stream. And if you do exactly how I show, your life will be so much easier with the breeding process. LJ, thank you for the 29 months. How are you? It's one of the reasons that I love live streaming too, though, is because y'all provide tons of really useful information as well. Because, you know, I'm only one person. I can only discover so much. And there's a lot of things that I learned from all of you too that help out a lot. You did 214 breeds yesterday on Blasma to get the four traits that I wanted. Holy guacamole. That is rough. I took. I did a, bla a Blaze of Mutt. I got two different versions. I did about 120 eggs. That was pretty rough. But I was doing it the wrong way uh, that time. I need a giant pillow of the mud stat. Holly, how are you doing? Mario, thank you for the 40 months. Do you know Ragnarok is the only flyer that can't... There's a lot of flyers that don't fit through dungeons very well. It's a lot of flyers that you glitch really, really bad. That's why I brought up a Fanglope. I think Fanglope is the best dungeon runner in the game. Um, Ragnarok is like one of my favorite pals. I think it looks so cool. It might not be the fastest, but it is the fastest in my heart. And sometimes that's all that matters. I just wish there was at least one crossbreed for Yorm Ignis so we can get Flame Emperor. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I do have to say, though, that um, I could be wrong in this. I haven't done enough testing to verify it. But literally any other... Not any other. Basically, Ferocious or any better attack modifier would be better than Flame Emperor. Flame Emperor. 
I want to get a couple more Shadow Beak. Because at least then you can use other elements and still get a, a stat increase. Because we are only boosting elemental damage. Um, you're only getting the boost to that specific element rather than anything else. There's a couple other moves that have better DPS per second than stacking all fire moves. I've been doing a lot of testing with that, but I was waiting for... I decided to wait until the... I was going to release a video on it. I was doing a ton of testing, and then the data mining started coming out, and I was like, you know what, just let me wait on this video until all the data mines are done so I can actually see if... I can verify if my testing is in fact true. Yeah, Slater, you think you're cool! DPS per second! I know. I was, uh, it's redundant, okay? You feel cool now, Slater? Flame Emperor would come instead of Hooligan, Sadist, or Aggressive, though. <laughs> um, what are the ones that I was thinking of? So I like having... I would say I would stack... Well, the problem is you can't put Legend on it either. So that's a problem. My optimum Ignis would be... Actually, I would never use Ignis to begin with because I just it's so large... It's a big old nope rope. Um, but I would end up going probably with like muscle head, burly body, ferocious and lucky. Although I don't think you can get lucky on it. Can you? It'd be super hard. Uh, if not lucky, then I would go with Hooligan for sure. Because at that point, you just get an increase to your attack and uh, and you lose work, work speed, which is 15% work speed. If it's a battle, pal, it doesn't really matter. Brave also works. Brave is 10% though, right? Or is it 20%? I don't remember. No run speed? I would never use a Yorman's Head as a mount. Absolutely not. You don't need run speed when... I mean, you obviously want to mount it during combat. Um, but run speed just would not be super worth it. Because you're just hopping on it, using your moves, and then hopping off. But like I said, it's a video game. It's all personal preference. And that's the, and that's the joy of it. Like, create what you want. Have fun with it. Would I use Blazema as a mount? I Blazema is one of my favorite pals. Um, I like riding around in Blazema. It's not efficient by any means. I've already done my top mounts video. <laughs> uh, top ground and flying mounts. Those are what I recommend personally. Brave is 10% attack. That's what I thought. Actually, technically you can get legend on every pal. No, you cannot. Uh, Jormantide Ignis has no crossbreed capabilities. You cannot get it from... And you have to pass down Legend from a Legendary Pal, and there's no way to breed for an Ignis uh, from a Legendary Pal. It is, I believe, it is the only Pal in the game that cannot get Legend. Blazemut can. I'm 99% sure it's the only Pal in the game that can't get Legend. Shadowbeak has a, a crossbreed available. No legend on Chickpea. That's also true. You can't get legend on Chickpea. I tried. <laughs> There's no way to do it. I think Lambal maybe as well. I'm not 100%. I think there might be a crossbreed for Lambal, but there is not for Chickpea. Yep, I tried the Chickpea one. I wasn't thinking about the low-level pals. <laughs> Poor Chickpea. You can if you breed it with the boss, guaranteed chickpea. No. Riss, no. That's not how it works. Riss, you need to go watch my videos. What you doing? There is no way to get it on Ignis, and there's no way to get it on chickpea. Confirm no land ball legend so far. Yeah. I want legend on all pals. There's a bushy. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we need to not kill these. Do, 
do, do, do, do. You can't get it on Chickpea. Because there's no way to get a low enough power level to get to hatch a Chickpea from a legend. Will? Wait. Hold on. There might be a path. There might be a path for Chickpea. I think I just figured out how to breed my Chickpea. I wanted to beat the game with only Chickpea. It may have been a video I already started working on. <laughs> Get in the ball! This is almost more than more important than catching Shadowbeak, because this is a video that I have already planned on doing and I'm already in the process of doing. <clears throat> Ow, son of a biscuit. Get in the ball! Oh no! Oh no, you're dead! God dang it, Bobby. Can you only get Chickpea with Chickpea? I need to check something real quick. So the way we'll know for certain... I think I did this, but I believe there was some missing breeding combinations when I checked it the first time. So let's see here. Desired child would be Chickpea. Toggle combinations. Yes. Okay. I was right. You can only get a Chickpea by breeding with a Chickpea. There's no other way. I thought maybe there was an update because I remember looking at this the other night again, which is unfortunate. So you cannot get legend um, on a Chickpea. You can get it on a lamb ball, I think. Lamb ball. Yeah, you can get it on a lamb ball. You can do it with a with a Malchrist would be the easiest. Um. Yeah. Yep. So chickpea is the only one you can't. Well, chickpea and Ignis are the only two you can't. Because the second you breed it with anything else, it has a higher power level and it would create a land ball instead. Can you link that website? It is available in my... Yeah, I'll link it. Um, it's in yesterday's breeding video, but here's the link to it. It's the one that I use. There's a lot of others that have copied this one. It's the original one that came out with the, the work that the, uh, the amazing human did on uh, figuring out all the stuff before all the data mining. I think they ended up data mining it too, though. Stop including glitches. You have not been watching my channel, clearly. What pal do I recommend for mining? I recommend uh, Blazemut. Uh, Blazemut is my favorite miner. Because it doubles as kindling as well. Everybody's likes to say Digtois is theirs, but Digtois doesn't work in base, so it becomes my least favorite mining pal. You also have to see so the only way it's a good miner is if it's in your party and you use its partner skill, and even then it's not particularly great because you have to be there for it. And if you have uh, upgraded mining tools, the mining tools do it faster, so it's kind of pointless. He looks cool though. I like the way he looks. Astagon's too big, gets stuck too much. Uh, Blazemut has the least issues that I've had experienced far so far with mining. We can come up with any number of ways why others would be better, but in my humble but honest opinion, Blazemut is the best. And Blazemut and Astagon have the exact same mining stats. Anubis would be my second favorite miner, yeah. Uh, the problem with Anubis is they get distracted with everything else too much. All right, let's get let's get out of here. Um, Anubis would be the first miner that I recommend getting in the game. It's going to be your main one. Well, other than like, so my top three are 
for early game would be Pen King or Tombat. Both of those are great for like right off the bat. But by the time you can get a Pen King or a Tombat, you're usually going to be able to get a Anubis anyways. So you can usually skip those. Then you just fill up your entire base with Anubis. And then you use that combination until you can get to Blazemut. And um, there's really no reason to use any other pals for mining. Anubis also handles your mining and transportation of the objects. Which Blazemut and I think Astagon can actually. That would be a benefit to Astagon versus, uh, whoops, over Blazemut. I could be wrong though. Yeah, Astagon sucks. Don't use Astagon. The hell is that noise? Oh, Blasty Boy is over here. Yeah, give me them Giga Spheres. Anubis, yeah, Anubis is honestly the best early game pal to get in the game, hands down, without a, without without a shadow of a doubt. There's no argument to be had for literally anything else. There. As much as I love you sitting like right on my keyboard. Meow indeed. Meow indeed. Okay, what are we doing? Um, let's make sure we got food. Ooh, you know what? I don't need to hatch these anymore. Shoot, we need to remove those. Let's start working on our other pals. Ah, oh, shoot. Y'all let me forget to put cake in the pen. What? Wait, this cake. Where's all the eggs, huh? You dirty little flapping pieces of garbage! Squirt out an egg! One of you fell asleep, didn't you? There's cake in there. You motherless goat. Do I think it's possible to beat the game with a chickpea? Yeah, I do. Not one chickpea, many, yeah, absolutely. All right, we'll give these eggs away. Uh, anybody that's on the server that wants some fanglope eggs, you can come and pick them up in this box. Right here. Please, one per customer. Is Luxar off today? Yeah. A well-deserved day off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We picked up all those medical supplies, but I didn't use any yet. <laughs> okay. So, as I've been trying to teach people, there's a reason to still catch wild pals rather than just breeding for them, and that's because I want to check the statistics that we get from them. So sort by pal deck number. I caught more than one. Oh, I have the shadow beaks here. Whoops. Let's drag these over here. These are the three shadow beaks that I have right now. 45, 43. God dang. Ooh. This one's going to be a beast. Dang, this one has stupid high attack. This one's 45, so we need to get each of them to the same level so I can actually check and see which one's more powerful. <sighs> oh, 
I want to keep getting more. Nox Fellas, the only... Uh, to answer your question, no. Um, breeding with Lucky or Alpha Pals has no bearing on if they have more in attack. I actually have evidence of this for those that want to argue with me. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Le Cremy! Alright, we've got a level 3 Lucky Cremus. 138 attack, 70 defense, 644 health. We've got another... Now you got to keep in mind, Lucky does the the attack increase, right? Uh, so we have to look at the base stats. We have 120 attack on here. We have 119 on this one. We also have more health on this non-Lucky one and more defense. Uh, this one has more health, same defense, but less attack. Wait, more attack? Less attack. Um, yeah, so there's no there's no statistical advantage as far as attack, HP, and defense go for Lucky and Alphas, except for the Butt Stallions, well, the, the Legendaries. You can catch the Legendaries, and they will have significantly more HP. Look at this. Level 48 Frost Stallion with almost 20,000 HP. It's broken. Absolutely ridiculous. Is it worth upgrading the Stars and Power for use in base? Absolutely not. Um, absolutely not. Um, I also talked, I think I talked about that in last night's video. Uh, like a chickpea. You can catch, if you so desire, I'm being completely masochistic and hate life, you can catch 120 chickpeas and you can condense them into one ultra chickpea. That'll lay three to five eggs a minute. Or you could take 120 of those chickpeas and throw them all into ranches all across and you could get, you know, 120 to 200 eggs per minute. Which one's better? Definitely not the three to five eggs per minute. But, that being said, if you're bored and you want to and you only want to use one pal per base and just have it in your base all the time, then yeah. I hate life. I did it. And I think you should too. Is it worth it? But imagine 124 star chickpeas. See now, now you're thinking with the big brains. That's an investment in your future. That's a solid investment right there. But what if I caught 1,000 chickpeas for, for 10 five star chickpeas? Then you're just gonna be rolling in eggs. You're gonna be the egg god. Or instead, better yet, better freaking yet, you can invest all of that time that you caught catching all of those chickpeas and make money instead. And catch yourself a wandering merchant. I'm broker than a dollar store hooker. And then, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Where'd all my money go? Where'd it go? He's gone. He's gone. And get a wandering merchant. And all that time you could be investing into chickpeas, you can just do this. I broke the game. I broke... There we go. Wait, hold on. Max. 50,000 for 999 eggs. I'm not going to spend all that money right now because Luxar would be very upsetty spaghetti with me. Uh, but yeah. I've done that so many times rather than just harvesting them up. It's kind of pointless. I'm going to split this. I'm going to put it back in there. Can I offer you an egg in this trying time? Exactly. Why do we keep money in a chest? Because I play with my partner. And uh, we like to make sure that we're both taken care of. Although she did tell me I could sell all this stuff. So I'm going to do that. I was calling it my little nest egg. You can also sell these. That's 379,000 gold right here. Just in ancient civilization parts. And I'm pretty sure we have more somewhere else. Oh, 
Oh my god. I have so many chests full of these things. Anyways, I'm going to sell all these and I'm going to split up the gold for us. Yeah, it's a joint bank account. Exactly. <laughs> Lava whoops over here. <laughs> Getting some eggs. Oh, they're a hundred gold apiece. I don't know why I thought they were a thousand gold apiece. That's my bad. All right, anyways. 317,000 doll hairs. Stay up. Beautiful. All right, so we got high-grade medical supplies that we're going to need. I need to set up another base here real quick. Uh, we've got some more schematics. I'm going to squirt in here. With all that money, you can buy 999 eggs now. <laughs> exactly. All right, I'll just split that up in case I need it. Beautiful. Have an ammo merchant by chance? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll put out all the merchants that I have here real quick so you can access all of them. Mm -mm -mm. These can go away. Do a pal merchant and a bullet merchant. Everything's exploding! That Gale Claw had a really, really bad day. Ooh, we got Swift and Artisan. <sighs> now it's not level 1, but it should be at like 110 or something like that. I don't know. We, we didn't get to see them at level 1. 109. Yeah, so close to 110. Let me put this over here. We'll hatch the other one. So the, the other egg will either pop out at 110, uh, 108, and should have 57 defense or 56 defense. Uh, just because of the way that the the stat allocation was on it. We'll wait here for those of you of you that were invested in discovering if I'm right or wrong about this. I was that crazy masochist who not only caught enough chickens to four-star two of them, but bred them for work speed that apparently doesn't work on ranching critters. Oh my god, I know. I found that out the hard way too. I spent two days trying to get all of the work speed things, and then... Logically, I should have tested it the first time I got Artisan on one, but I didn't start testing until I got super excited. I was like, oh my god, I got Work Slave, Sirius, and Artisan on one, and I set up a five-minute timer only to realize that they freaking pop out eggs every minute regardless of their work speed. Ugh. The level of disappointment I had in that two days' worth of work. That was at like 3 a.m. too. I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. What are the rates for the legendary schematics? I swear I've fought Beacon and Suzaku like 30 times now. I'm going to say 0 and 30 at the moment. Well, I don't have any ranch pals because I've already farmed up all the ranch stuff I need right now. And I have enough money to not have to put ranch pals in. I'm stocking up on tomatoes at the moment. Tomatoes are life. I need more salad. Actually, I need less tomatoes and more not tomatoes at the moment. I don't know why I'm getting exponentially more tomatoes than I am anything else. I want, I don't want tomatoes anymore. Oh, I wonder if it's because it's touching. Hmm. There was a test that I forgot to actually test. I need lettuce. I'm touching the circle of death. No, I get way less tomatoes, or less than tomatoes too, I don't know why either. Oh, 
All right. Where's old, old boy out there that didn't want to believe me? I guessed it exactly right. Look at that. All of you non-freaking believers out there. The stats don't hand down when you breed them. I haven't done enough actual testing to find out, but I'm still going to talk about it. Stupid. Old VC out there got that D's for degrees diploma. Sky, what'd it do? You banned TC or whatever the name was? Yeah. <laughs> Give me the egg. Alright, uh, what were we doing? We were doing a thing. Oh, Jorman Gunder. Why do you live life like this, dude? Who hurt you? I mean, I know I hurt you. Uh, okay, I need to move this. And I need wood. <clears throat> Isn't it roll tide? Oh, roll tide over there. I'm doing the Alabama... The, the little Alabama, I don't even know. Something about sitting on roofs or something. I don't know. Something Alabama stuff. <clears throat> Cow tip in 9,000. I don't know. What am I doing? Wood. I need a, a, a tree slapper. Hmm. Ye old tree. I have a tree slapper in my inventory. God dang it. HP on alphas compared to their offspring is ridiculous. Yeah, it can be. <laughs> There's a snake on my roof. Can you breed merchants? No. Oh my god, he's doing the Alabama slam. What the hell's going on? What? Roll Tide! <laughs> it's time to party! Hit that like button! Frickin' Yorman Tide Ignis. God dang it. That's why I hate big pals. I hate big pals and I cannot lie. Yeah, take a freaking nap, you gar garbage snake. God dang it. Useless. Useless, useless, useless. Yeah, I know I left without building my cabbage patch, okay? Ugh. For real, name it Roll Tide. You can see I use my Anubis for uh, for mining through the night when I'm sleeping. Roll Tide. Go to work, little buddies. Gonna work, 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 work. Do, 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 do. I think I want this many of them. Then we need some Lilene's over here. Lilene, Lilene. And we need one non-depressed Yorman side. You know what we're going to do too, because they're both going to get stuck anyways. 
God dang it, Bobby. I wish there was like a, a PAL miniaturization drug we could use. Make them a little bit smaller, a little bit more base friendly. Let's call it brace base friendlyization. Would make life so much better. Also, thank you, Sky. And ladies and gentlemen, yeah, you got 1,400 people watching. If you like any of the content, I really hate shameless self-promotion. So just imagine you hitting the like button, like slapping me in the face for even having to mention it, okay? Uh, what site did I get my server from? I am currently hosting from my own house because no server providers, quite frankly, even hosting from your own hardware, doesn't work really well. The game needs to be optimized pretty substantially, and uh, we haven't gotten those stabilizations yet. So for now, uh, I would recommend G-Portal. They have been the ones that I've been using uh, all the time. What is the rare shadow beak? They are a rare spawn in the sanctuary. Uh, we got three today. I want to go get a couple more. Because we have been talking about the quote-unquote IVs. I don't consider them to be like IVs. I think it's a stat allocation. I don't think it is an IV. Uh, this is coming from... A, I assume because... There's multiple reasons why I assume it. Um, but they have copied more things from Ark than they have copied from Pokemon. And I think they have a very similar stat allocation to Ark Survival Evolved Dinosaurs than they do Pokemon IVs system or... or um, What's the other word I'm looking for? Some kind of word, you know. Um, or natures, for that matter. All, right, all of these are good. We gotta grab some diggy boys. And I want to go more in depth into that. Because nobody else on the internet is bothering to do it. And while I did already do my end all and breed all thing, I feel like I can go through that without having to make it another breeding video. Because uh, if nobody else is going to figure it out, I might as well do a in-depth analysis of it. Even though I kind of already have, people still don't believe me. Dig Toys is bugged for mining. Oh, I know. Don't use Dig Toys as a as a base pal. Oh, this is where all my other Anubis are. Well, hello, my friends. I see you've been putting the hard work in with no beds. But you know what? You don't get beds because you suck. You would get beds if you worked if I wasn't loaded into this area, but you don't. You've been here for four days. Four days and you got 32 ore. Don't blame the no beds. You don't need beds. You got rocky butts. You don't need beds. I figured out where all my Anubis went. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why I had a distinct lack of Anubis the past couple of days. And now we know why. <gasps> yeah, Dick Toy sucks. I know every content creator and their mother is trying to make Dig Toys the greatest thing since sliced bread, but he's like, he's like bread before people sliced it. He kind of like was that bread before we discovered like, you know, aeration and rising and like the actual development of bread. He's like the old time like Neanderthal bread that was like a rock. But you know what? I don't have to touch the rocks, so I'm kind of okay with it right now. Look at the best miner in Palworld. He's doing such a good job. Ugh. He was best then. Anubis and... Anubis, Blazemut, and um, Astagon are better in every conceivable way. D 
Jigtoys doesn't even work as a base pal, unfortunately. He's bugged. So it only works in your inventory, the way we're using him right now. Like, we could, um... Well, we can't squirt anything in here. Ah, does Astagon sleep through the night? I don't know. Come on, big boy! Take up the whole freaking base. This is why I don't like Astagon. Oh, you're freaking hungry, too? Do we have food here? Yeah, we do. Let's go, diggy boy. No food and no bed. No, this is got food. That is the next reason why I don't think Astagon is better than Blazemut. Now, yeah, Astagon doesn't sleep, but the problem is he's going to end up losing sanity really quickly, and he's going to end up getting depressed and uh, and commit Ast Astagonicide, which would be pretty terrible. Blazemut is my number one MVP. And that is through a lot of testing. I like Blazemut a lot. My number one true homie. Oh, Sky. 1,400 watchers. Let's get some more likes for Tag Chat. Oh, thank you, Sky. Thank you so freaking much. How have, your, uh, how have you been enjoying Power World? Has the streams and stuff been doing well? Have you been enjoying it? How do you like it in comparison to Ark? An even more important question. Why do I keep dunking on Dig Toys Mining? Because it doesn't work. It works in your party. Uh, but even then, you have to have them in your party. But when you put them in your base, as we are right now, they don't work. You like it better than Ark? Oh, hell yeah. No, let me put a few in here. We're talking specifically about base miner miners at the moment. Like, Dig Toys in your party is, is pretty great. Um, but honestly, like, mining through yourself and your party is the worst way to do mining. So, he's the best of the worst way you could possibly mine in the game. Your Dig Toys works for mining? Watch, 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 watch it, watch it happen. He's, he's about to do it. No, he's not. All right, well, I'm going to show you. you. It works, but it doesn't work effectively. Just hold on. It'll, it'll happen in a second. You'll see it work. It should. Okay, this is worse than I thought it was going to be. Let me maybe take him to the other base. I don't know why they're not mining right now. They do zero mining when you're not at the base. Yeah, uh, they're they're the worst mining pal. I'm sorry. They they're they look cool. Their skill is cool, but they don't mine when you're gone. And when they do mine, they do one damage instead of the damage they're supposed to do because they're bugged. Like I'm not. It's not. I'm not dunking on them. They're just bugged right now. I broke it. It's my fault. <laughs> Um, hold on. I've never seen them break like this before, though. This is weird. They heard me trashing on them. Maybe. They do two damage now. Oh, oh, oh. oh not two damage. Oh, man. All the police. Two damage. Shoot. Look at these bad boys actually mining when you're not at base, unlike Dig Toys. They got that Crusher skill, though. The skill only works when it's in your party. I feel like YouTubers have been so unbelievably misrep like misinforming people on so much of this stuff. It's so unbelievably aggravating. Oh, God! Not the base! All right, it's a Dig Toys resistance. It's not gonna work. 
Alright, anyways. Alright, watch. Watch. See, yes, it is mining, but look how little damage it's doing. So it's gonna take forever. It's gonna take four freaking ever for it to mine this rock. And yeah, like, it's, it's, it's necessarily not a problem if they worked passively, like, without you having to be at the base. So yeah, they're mining. But it takes an ungodly amount of time. And sometimes they never work. Like, sometimes they do one damage and they don't drop any stone at all. The fact that even... Like, I've seen them do this for hours without dropping a single thing. But the second I leave, it'll no longer drop. It, it, it won't drop stuff anymore. Oh, and you know what? We're only dropping stuff because we got freaking dude bro here doing it. Hold on. I gotta fix it. We got dude bro slapping stuff too. Oh god, you're going to the wrong place, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're so slow. You can't even get one stone. This is a true testament to how bad Dig Toys is. Can't even get... Oh, oh, we got some! Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Where are you going, bud? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, oh, he's back. Go do something useful. NOT THE BASE! Dig Toys, the best miner in PAL world. You've seen it here first. Let's not take a moment to cherish how amazing this PAL is at mining right now. This is now going to be a four-hour dig toy in-depth dig toys analysis stream, where we see just how good dig toys is at mining. This is his moment to shine in Pal World right now. His only moment to show his true worth. Let's see how long it takes us to get one ore. Everybody get some popcorn. It's going to be a long stream before we get one ore. The stream doesn't end until Dig Toys gets us one ore. So how's everybody's day going? My day is going pretty great. I think Dig Toys is having a pretty good day too. Not as bad as the rocket launcher though. <laughs> Okay, I always had him out with the Astagons and Anubis. Yeah, that's why. Oh, he's getting a snack, baby! He did all that work. He's like, I can't get you one ore till I eat some more berries, buddy. Mmm. Oh, oh, where's he going? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's the base again! Here we go. He made it. He made it to a stone. Can he get us one ore? We did it! Woo! All right, that's enough of that. When am I gonna battle Jet Dragon? Ah, uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, no, I put them in the base. Did I? No. Okay, we're good. All right, we need to go back here. The shell, the myth, the legend. Then if you try to four-star dig toys, I actually started to do that and then realized how much more useless it was than every other mining pal that I already had, and I decided not to do it. Okay, I know people don't say this on stream often, but Tag, you were right. Thank you. <laughs> Lava Wolf, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I appreciate you.
That means Chicopee can't get Legend. Yeah, poor Chicopee cannot get Legend. It's a super big bummer. All right, so we want to go back out and get some more Shadow Beaks. Leave the turtle alone. Look, I I think Dig Toys is super cool. It's just not good. <laughs> if you ever see me recommend Dig Toys as a base pal, that's a pretty solid chance that I've been kidnapped and my life is probably in danger. Name the dig toys Brittany. <laughs> Leave Brittany alone! I want a dig toys PvP Beyblade area. Oh, hell yeah. I can't wait till they fix it, though, because he is super cool. I, I like the his skill. He's very loud, though, as a base pal. <laughs> what well, level can you get Flare Saddle? It is level 38. It is the fastest flyer in the game until you get to the legendary pals. Mm -mm -mm. Skirt, skirt, skirt. <laughs> Make an April Fools video. Dig Toys best base pal end game. Oh yeah. So bye bye beacon. Then honestly, you don't have to do that. Like the the end game, the the three end game pals, um, Beacon, Ragnar Ragnarok, Phalaris, and um, and the legendaries. Like, I still use Phalaris right now because I have I have good I have good stats on him. But if you like Beacon, use Beacon. You don't have to use the fastest thing in the game. Just put Swift. You put Swift Runner, Swift and Runner on any pal, and they're gonna be fast. It's going to be way better than, than anything else. But if you really want to go for min-max, yeah, like, Phalaris is going to be better than Beacon. Uh, Phalaris is going to be better than Ragnarok. Is Phalaris... Phalaris is one hunt... Here, let's... Let me let me do a little bit of, a little bit of this for you. So you all can see the numbers. I did this in my video already. Uh, actually, not Palpedia. We want to use... I don't like Palpedia. I've been using it a little bit. Uh, I like Power World Trainer better. Uh, pals, we'll do Flappy Boys. All right, so the the end game ones. You can, if we look at Suzaku, a lot of people recommend Suzaku. Uh, so we have a walk speed of a hundred, we have a run speed of eight fifty, and we have a ride sprint speed, which is their flying sprint speed. There's a difference between run speed and sprint speed. This is their flying sprint speed. is 1,100. Pretty freaking slow for the end game ones. We have a run speed of 850. Now, if we go back here, you can see Beacon has a ride sprint speed of 1,200, a slower run speed, but it is faster on its sprint speed. But at the end of the day, each tier is only 100 more on the ride sprint speed. So if we look at... Uh, uh, Ragnar Ragnarok is at 1,300 with run speed of 800. And then Phalaris is at 1,400. So it's 200 more than uh, than Beacon. And a run speed of 1,000. And a walk speed of 150. Uh, so it is the fastest endgame flyer until you get to Legendaries. Then you have Frostallion, which is going to have the same run speed, but 100 more ride sprint speed, so it's only slightly faster. And then obviously you have Jet Ragon as well. Um, Suzaku Aqua has the exact same stats for that goes. I don't know why people recommend Suzaku. It's very slow. Um, yeah. Beacon, Phalaris, Ragnarok, all great endgame mounts. Frostallion is going to be your best until you get to Jet Ragon. Which Jet Ragon is just broken fast. It's just the way it is. Uh, the other thing to take into account would be um, if you don't ride sprint speed, you could do that. You could look into that too.
Susaku has insane stamina. Yeah, but you can just like, like just hang out on the like you can fly on the ground like this. And you're gonna have a ton of stamina, and guess what happens? You just stop for a second. So I would rather take substantially faster and just let go of the sprint button every couple of seconds, and you have infinite stamina too. Look, I'm never gonna run out of stamina. It takes a second to get stamina. You can fly in the air if you want. I like flying kind of close to the ground though. Personally. Frostalion also has insane stamina, yeah. Um I like the speed rather than the uh than the more stamina. Personal preference though. And Suzaku doesn't look like a delicious roasted turkey. Exactly. I do have a very fast uh, Suzaku, though. All right, so we need... I want to catch at least one or two more Shadow Beaks. Yeah, Phalaris, yeah, so that's that's the main point that I'm trying to say, so, um, let's open this up, hold on, the point is Phalaris, like, Phalaris not sprinting is almost as fast as Suzaku when it's sprinting, so if your argument is Suzaku has more stamina, well, on Phalaris, you don't have to use stamina to go almost as fast. And you can start using stamina and go almost 50% faster than a Suzaku. So, I don't know how people are mathing the numbers on that one, but maybe I you know, need to go back to math school or something. I don't know. In a sheer battle of holding the shift button and not using your brain, Suzaku is going to fly longer faster, yes. If you use any portion of your brain and, you know, conserve stamina in any kind of way or literally do anything logical when you actually use something, Phalaris is going to get you somewhere faster. And yes, my main argument is worry less about perfection and ride the one you like. If you like Suzaku... I support you 100%. I recommend everybody rides a Depresso. Perfect. I never use my brain. There we go. All right. So what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of hunting for chests while also letting the, uh, the palace respawn down at the bottom. For writing what you prefer, do it. Always, it's a video game. Just play what you enjoy. It's all that really matters. Full full team of four star depresso is your goal. Hell yeah. Does killing the palace refresh the mobs? It can't. Ooh, there's an Astagon. Actually, you know what? We can get Shadow Beak by breeding Astagon, so we might as well try and get a couple of those. That's kind of why we're out here as well. A Blizzard Spike? No, Crystal Breath. Blizzard Spike will yeet us the lead us Oh. That's a bit of a bummer. Thick Stallion be thook. Is Icicle Cutter broken too? No. Doesn't the Jig Twice just need the collar to mine better? I have the collar. I was showing it off with the collar. The collar allows you to use the activated skill. Best fighter in your opinion? Whatever makes you happy. You can make any pal in the game. Like, Frot. Box Barks carried me through the game.
<laughs> Ooh. Suzaku flies weird too. You need to aim air cutter properly. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Get in the ball. Thanks freaking excuse me. That's a legendary ball and you've got no HP, buddy. The thing that I like about this game is if you want to make an OP chickpea, you can make an OP chickpea. You can make a chickpea that can destroy everything in the universe. And you should. The Lord of Lightning. Hey, Dudley, what it do? Whoa! Excuse me, sir. Oh, you Dedosaurus Rexed. My bad. I hit, the wrong, I hit the wrong button. Do you just make your pals OP from breeding, or what is the method? Sam, I made a video today on everything that you need to uh, need to know about making any pal super OP. Uh, I released it today. It's a breeding video. Highly recommend checking it out. Anybody could try and explain it to you in this live stream. I could even try and do it again. But if you go through that video, you will learn every single thing. Catris is awesome. If you want to make an OP pal with Catris, uh, I highly recommend it. And that video will definitely help you out. Why use a flyer if you have a Frost Alien? Because it's a video game and people are allowed to play what they want. Mm -mm -mm. Um, plus my Phalaris is faster currently than Frost Stallion because of the stats that I have on it than this boss Stallion. Although, uh, Luxara made me a very, very, very fast Frost Stallion. I just haven't leveled it up yet. Afternoon streams when I'm working nights are the best. Thanks for the content tag. Loving the Power World streams. Thanks you, John. Thank you very much. Fastest bird at level 40 is going to be Phalaris. Mm -mm -mm. Or if you want the bird with the most stamina, use Suzaku. You had to kill Amari with 1400 attack. And <laughs> noise! Man, I thought that was a chickpea for a second when those bushies spawned. I was like, wait, what's going on over here? Why are there chickpeas at the sanctuary? Plus, Phalaris is a pretty great pal all around. Has high attack, uh, magic attack, and very high defense for a bird. Uh, a lot of the other flyers will get KO'd really easily, especially if we're playing on high mode or hard mode. Uh, but Phalaris's defense, in my opinion, sets it above the rest, even like outside of movement speed alone. More Fangaloop. Selling legendary spheres is your favorite way to make money. 4,500 gold each. Interesting. That's, that's an awfully large commitment. How much does each PAL metal ingot sell for? No pro gaming. They were coming to Bean. 
Did they make Anubis too easy to get? Do I think? Yeah, I don't know. I think that was a mistake. I have a feeling that's going to be patched. Getting an Anubis that early in the game uh, doesn't make sense. Literally the only way to get it in the game that I'm aware of. Like outside of breeding is a level 47 boss fight. It should make it one of the quote unquote rarest power. Like, like the whole power level system for breeding goes by rarity. And in some instances like strength. It is both incredibly rare and incredibly strong. And the fact that you can get it with a Celeray and a Relaxosaurus makes absolutely no sense to me. I think it's a mistake. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Blazy Boys. I'm actually here for a lot of different pals, as it turns out. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, oh. God dang. That was almost bad news bears day. Yeah, no, I, I honestly, as much as I love getting Anubis early, I think it needs to be patched. It's, it's too much of a hack. It, it eliminates so many of the pals early game. Like, it, um, it, it feels like cheating, honestly. Oh, shoot. Get in the ball. Can you breed into a Frost Alien? No. Uh, legendaries can only be gotten by breeding with other legendaries. Well, wait a second. Am I? Why do I feel like I'm having a brain fart right now? Why does my brain hurt? Yeah. One of the ways that I was doing something was doing the Frost Alien Noct, which is the uh, the variant version of Frost Alien, which means you can breed a Frost Alien with a Hell Zephyr and get something, so you can make a really OP Hell Zephyr and breed it easier that way. Have you ever considered doing a playthrough of only breeding the sto the starting area and seeing how many you can get, like how far I can go? So the I have a whole video on how the crossbreeding works, but it has a power level system. So you can't upbreed. You can only you can only like horizontally breed. So like say you have a power level of 800, you cannot ever breed for a higher power level than 800. You can only, like, breed things within, like, one or two of that. Or you can downbreed. You can't... So you can't take, like, a... Like, a base... Anubis is an outlier, but that's because its power level, I think, is wrong. The highest one... The, the highest damage pal you could get out of only breeding entry-level pals is Anubis. <clears throat> like Anubis is one of the most powerful and most useful pals in the game. I I think its power level is just wrong. It's breeding power level. Uh, and yes, the catch rate is bugged. So since the patch, essentially what has happened is visually the effigies are increasing your catch rate. So visually, the icon of you saying it's like ninety percent. It sh it, that part is working right, but what's actually happening is your effigies 
behind the scenes are actually decreasing your catch rate. So if you had a 50% catch rate and you've gotten all your effigies and it's now showing like 80% or whatever, it's actually reducing it by that amount rather than increasing it. So it would be like 30%. This, this isn't hard math. It's just an example. So whereas you see 80, your actual catch percent is like 20. Uh, so the only fix for it right now is to up your catch rate um, to two or three, I would say, on the server until it's patched. Is there a way to level up pals other than from catching more pals? Yeah, the fastest way to level pals isn't through catching pals, it's through defeating bosses. If you want to power level your pals, I'm not talking about your character. Character is completely different than pals. Fastest way to level your character is by catching ton of everything. Fastest way to level your pals is by defeating bosses. It takes a pal far less XP to get to 50 than a character. Oh, Fuko, nice. I'm glad you've been enjoying it. Right, this is going to be our last little rotation here before we get into some other stuff here. I would like to catch one more Shadow Beak. Any tips for getting Jet Ragon? Uh, craft legendary balls and whittle it down and pray. I wish there was a better way than that, but I don't think Jet Dragon sleeps either because it's part uh, sh it's dra wait, it's dragon. It's just dragon, right? I've never seen a Jet Dragon sleep. Uh, so the trick to getting a Frost Stallion. So my tip for Jet Dragon would be catch a Frost Stallion while it's sleeping. Then use that boss stallion to fight Jet Ragon, and um, and then catch it that way. He sleeps. Uh, alternatively, I've never seen Jet Ragon sleep. That's my bad. I've never tried. Um, I would say try and catch it while he sleeps. But attack while it's sleeping, and just do that over and over and over. You don't even have to fight it. I can do it right now. Actually, I'm not going to do that right now, because I promised I would catch it with Luxara. Trick for Blazemut? I don't have a trick for Blazemut, unfortunately. Yeah. Is Lexar getting on later? No, it's just me today. <clears throat> it's -a me. I actually think I might be losing my voice a little bit. <clears throat> I'm struggling to. Struggling to. Trying to see if this um, Black Marketeer is going to spawn or not. I don't think it's going to spawn until nighttime. <clears throat> Can we find a regular size Manisting? Breed two Manistings together and you get a regular sized one. Um, that's one way to do it. All right, so let's work on uh, on doing some uh, some breeding here potentially. If that's what we would like to do. Um, do 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 do. I want to do a couple of different things. Uh, Sanctuary 2 or 3. I'm assuming it's Sanctuary 2 has Menace Things, because I have never seen them spawn on 3. Um, I had my headset on this whole time. 
I was making my ears hurt. What the heck? Oh, we've got more Van Wire for it to uh, <laughs> stop them from breeding. Take the cake out, hatch one of these. I'm also going to put the other two Van Wire Megs in here for anybody that wants them. For anybody that's playing on the server, I have some uh, really good Fang Lope eggs in here and some Van Wire Megs in here uh, with potentially good stats. Anybody that's on the server that wants to collect those, feel free to. There's still a bunch there. Alright, let's see how much resources we have now. I need to stock up on food. We do not have a lot of lettuce still. The lettuce just takes forever to grow. Every passive skill in the game can be transferred. I have videos on all of these things. I highly recommend checking them out if you want to know more. <laughs> oh my god, I need more wood. More wood! No, you don't have to be the same guild to grab. That's why I put it outside of the base. You put two to three as <laughs> two to three times as many lettuce as you do tomato. Makes sense. I feel like I wasn't having this issue the other day. Like I was definitely getting less lettuce than I was tomato, but I wasn't getting this much less lettuce than tomato. You know. Number two, my base is raw. You know. Raw. No. Can we join your guild? Absolutely not. Has fall damage on Jet Dragon been fixed? I didn't know there was fall damage on Jet Dragon. If I'm being completely honest, I, I had no idea. Right, so we got four of these bad boys now. So we need more cement, pal metal ingots, which we've already been crafting. We need pal fluids. This we oh four, oh stone. Okay. Alright, I need to take a one moment break. I need to turn on the AC because the room is getting very, very hot. And uh, I will be right back. Un momento.
All right. Three is the max base. Yeah. Three is the max base, and even though... I think you can turn it up. A lot of the um, I and I settings aren't working right, though. <clears throat> so I was trying to get something for my for my throat. I should probably have some tea and honey or something, but I'm having a really hard time uh, <clears throat> talking. I don't think I'm getting sick. I have no reason to be getting sick, but it should be good. Hyper grappling gun acquired? Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Alright, so did I bring the meds with me? Okay, I brought the meds with me. I need to collect all of this ore. We need to heal our... Actually, before we do all of the things that I wanted to do here... Uh, let's go ahead and start breeding up at the other base. I wanted to work on more palmetto ingots, which we're going to grab right now. I also needed... What did I need? I needed stone for cement, right? A buttload of stone. Take uh, 10,000 of that. Well, 999. Rest and stream more tomorrow. Nah, I'll be fine, because I still got to record and stuff tonight, too, so... I'll be alright. Ain't no rest for the wicked. <laughs> Mark, this is a new playthrough. Started a couple days ago. So I'll make 60... Oh, because I only got 61 pound fluids. We can go get more of that really easy. Or we could buy it. Best spot to farm sulfur? It's in one of my videos. Uh, but right here, at the Eternal Pyre Tower entrance, or whatever the... This, this bad boy. Right here. Alright, let's see. What do we want to make first? Let's do a pull. Uh, let's see here. Powerful Blazemut. Oops. What to work for first? Powerful Blazemut. Let's see here. Let's do Blazemut. Um, Shadow Beak. Grizzbolt. Or. Or. I think those are the three that I really want to work on right now. Um, I've already got a really good Verdash. I wanted four options, but I think we're going to go with three right now. Yeah. All right, so y'all get to vote on that. I know y'all don't like hitting the like button, but maybe you like voting for what you want to actually listen to and watch, at least. Why do I want to start again? Because I wanted to, Mark. Good Lord. Why you ask so many questions, Mark? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I wanted to do a hard mode playthrough. I... I did all of my content making on a solo server that we plowed through and I didn't actually get to sit and enjoy the game. So I wanted to be able to live stream actually playing through the game and enjoying it and not fully bum rushing end game content and actually have fun with the game. So that's what this playthrough is. It's harder because I've already experienced a lot of the stuff in the game and I wanted to have a harder time doing what I did before. And I'll do another playthrough when mods come out and become a little bit easier to put on servers and things like that. And we'll have some fun with it. Shadowbeak at 40%. We got Blazemut and Grizzbolt after that. So let's check out what uh, Shadowbeaks we got. Now, for those of you unfamiliar and non-believers out there, if you're back and all that stuff, we need to check our stats first. Uh, let's see. Shadowbeaks. Am I blind? There they are. So we got three Shadowbeaks right here. Uh, Cold-Blooded, Pyromaniac, we really don't want any of these, but what we do want is we want to figure out which Shadow Beak is the strongest. So we need to get all of these, these other two, to at least uh, level 50. Because I want to see what our best stats on the Shadow Beaks are. I want to see if I can breed one stronger as well. So we're going to take this off. 
So we have three Shadow Beaks. 45 is the highest level. So let's get this 44 to 45. I'm uber late. Did I miss another base explosion? No, you have not missed another base explosion. <laughs> Wait, and it's easier to get Jet Ragon when he sleeps because you can get the back bonus easier. And uh, I believe when they're sleeping, I haven't, I have no data to clarify this other than personal experience. But it seems as though um, it counts as a, there's like a stun bonus when you try and catch a pal when it's stunned. Oh, it's going to be a pain in the butt to get these to 45. Shoot. Uh, you have a, there's a capture bonus to that and I believe sleeping counts as that as well. Or maybe we've just gotten really lucky. I don't know. All right. Um, we're just going to make babies. We're going to do this by making babies. Well, <laughs> I don't feel like getting these to 45 is going to take too long. So we've got a male here with clearly higher defense than everything else. That is... Honestly, it's, it's a substantial difference. Like this 44 has 613, 610. So it's got clearly higher attack and defense than everything else. Um, I believe this is going to be our prime candidate. I kind of want to breed these together and see what happens. I know there's two levels difference here, but I mean, that's a, that's a massive difference for one level. Um, let's breed these two together and see what kind of babies we got. Shadow Beak at 45%. Then we're going to try and make a Shadow Beak with higher base stats than these and see if we can do that. What do I think the best way to level up Palace specifically? Palace specifically would be by defeating bosses. Uh, take your strongest pal and a bunch of pals that you want to power level and then go kill a boss. And There's a catch-up mechanic. Uh, so pals that are lower level than you um, will get bonus XP. So you use that to your advantage by taking down bosses. Well, we'll be doing that in this in this stream here in a second. Let's make some eggs. All right, so we need uh, blah, 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 blah. Astagon. All right, so we're gonna be going through the breeding process here. Now we know we have a desired child of Shadow Beak. Which means we need to breed a Kitsune with an Astagon. And this is where we can really get some good stats. So let's look at Kitsune first. Because I know I don't have any good Kitsune. Man, my voice is struggling right now. Am I blind? Kitsune, there it is. So we have a whole bunch of different options for Kitsune. The question is, do we have any options for powerful pals that I already have? Blaze Hell Knocked. Verdash, there we go. So we have Verdash, Verdash and a Vanwire make a Kitsune. So let's look at all the different pals that we have that have good stats. I believe we have a powerful Verdash. We have a Verdash with Sirius, Runner, Legend, and Swift. The question is, do we want a Shadow Beak with attack power? Do we want a, a movement speed Shadow Beak, or do we want a powerful Shadow Beak? Because we could easily make one with Legend on it right now. <laughs> oh, we got a Kitsune here that's kind of poo-poo. Can you get a Shadow Beak? We've been literally doing it this whole stream. 
the whole stream. Jet Ragon soon anyways. I'm not going to be using Jet Ragon. I, I don't like using legendaries. I, I just don't. Uh, I like using this one. And I'll, and I'll probably use the speed one that Lexara made me. But other than that, I probably won't. Can you try Frost Stallion at level 40? Lexara caught a Frost Stallion at level 32. With Ultra Balls. So yeah, you can catch one at 40. We've got Astagon with Runner, Sadist, Buh. Burly Body. So we need a good Kitsune first. Enhances Dark Attacks while mounted. Does that mean it enhances its dark attacks? Because usually it says it enhances players' dark like attacks with dark while mounted. But if it just it's so this would be interesting using a shadow beak and a team of daydreams, because it should increase the daydreams shadow damage while you're mounted. Right? I'm gonna have to test that. Hmm. Does anybody know if anybody's tested that out there? I'm kind of curious. Tito, welcome. All right, first egg is almost done. Should be a huge dark egg, right? So we had Verdash, Fanglope. I'm just looking at all the difference. We can use Anubis. Anubis is an option. I don't think I have any particularly strong Anubis, but I think I can make a strong Anubis. I have a Celeray. No, I cannot make a strong new Anubis. I don't want to do it because we always get glutton from Relaxosaurus. All right, so we've got a Van Warm with Legend. That's going to be important. We're going to put that at the end. Because we're going to need that. And we've decided that we're going to breed that with a Verdash, which means we need, a, we need to make a Verdash with... Uh, muscle head and fero and f and furious muscle head and furious this changing the difficulty higher no there's no way to increase the the chances of uh transferring stats it's just a little hot Now it only buffs dark attacks, it does not make your attack dark type, but that was before I think they changed that. Yeah, but how does it enhance dark attacks? Like, is it enhancing its own dark attacks? Is it enhancing other pals' dark attacks in the party? Like, this is things that we need to test, because it's not very specific. Because you don't naturally have dark attacks. Like, there's no way for your character to have a dark attack unless a pal gives you the ability to have dark attack. <sighs> This is to your Red Bull addiction. No pro gaming. Thank you. You are a scholar and a gentle person. Thank you very, very much. All right. So we need to make a, a Verdash. So this is what we're going to do. We have a Van Wyrum with Legend on it. Which means we need to make a Verdash with the stats that we need. And for those of you that have been... I, I've made a whole video on this if you want to check out the video like after the live stream or even now on exactly what I'm doing and how you can do this to make perfect pals yourself without wasting your time. I highly recommend checking it out. Um, 
So Van Wyrum and Flack will make one. Which kind of makes it easier for me because I already have a good Van Wyrum. Which means we need some Flax. Did I just sell all my flax? I sold all my flax, didn't I? Gaze upon my field of flax and see that they are barren. All right, we need to go get some flax. Nox makes your attacks dark. Yes, as I said, there is no way to naturally make your attacks dark unless it's used by a pal, but you can't have a Nox and a... Uh, and a Shadow Beak out at the same time. Now, does Nox do it while it's in your party? It might. Find Nox here. When fighting together. So that's only when it's out. Oh, big ol' elephant. Don't suppose cake can be mass produced on an assembly line, can it? No, but in today's breeding video, I showed how to get a Jormantide Ignis early, which means you can make all the cake your heart could possibly desire super freaking quick. Uh, so go check it out. I forgot to do one thing. Mm -mm -mm. We need flax. Flax. Is there a way to farm honey? Yeah, uh, be guards. Also in today's video. Bought whiskey, but didn't look closely, and it's from Taiwan. I don't think I've ever had Taiwanese whiskey before. Good luck on that one. Hopefully it's not terrible. I need different balls. Sorry, everybody. I'm losing my mind right now, apparently. Whoops. It's a bummer. Right, I suppose the next question is, can we make a f good flack well, from anything? We've got Lucky. I thought I sold all these bad ones. Pretty sure we can make a flack. It's probably going to be easier than going out and getting one. With the skill that we need. Alright, we got a ferocious monkey boy. Now, can we make a flack with a monkey? <sighs> Stupid flacks. Alright, a sparket and a tansy make a flack. I have no good sparkets. <laughs> Ooh, burly body. You know what? I don't mind having a little bit of a tankier boy. Oh, they're both female. No matter what, we're going to have to breed for a better flack. So, we're going to try and tame some sparkets. 
think it might be easier. If we can get a spark it with just... Something useful on it. Oh, flax! Le Cremi. Hey, Smug. How are you doing? You know what? We can also reach out to people on the stream for a good flack, like a muscle head flack. Uh, anyone got a muscle... Oh, muscle head whack. Oh, caps. <laughs> oh. Take it. Uh, what you want? <laughs> I don't need to specify gender. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll figure it out later. Can anyone with a ferocious... <laughs> <laughs> or muscle head whack come to my base. We are going to be oh uh, negative th negative three fifty one negative one seventeen. Yeah. But there's so many whacks to give, right? Yeah, I know. The, ch the, the chat's so small. They'll figure it out. They will figure it out. I will drop people some Lego balls or something, maybe. Or, let's see what I can trade. I got some Frost Aliens. I got some Anubis. I got some good Anubis. We got Artisan on here. An Artisan and Swift Anubis. No pro gaming. Thank you for coming to Majestic Bean. Thank you so much. You'll take a frost? Alright. I got you. I got you. Mm -mm -mm. Um, let's see. Rustalian. Swift and the legend. Let me do this one. Oh, sweet. Everybody picked up the eggs, too. Hell yeah. Where's the spot on the map? I just showed you the map, buddy. It's where it is on the map. My Frostalian and Noct has over 2k attack and is still not fully upgraded. Ooh. Hell yeah. That is phenomenal. Okay, so if we have Fwax, we breed... Was it Fwax and Vanwyrm? Yeah, Fwax and Vanwyrm. To make Verdash? Yep, okay. I 
hear movement. It's not the movement I was looking for, though. Not enough cake. Where's all the cake at? It's always gone. I need more cake. All day long. This game needs some new content soon. It's dying pretty quick. It's got plenty of content. Y'all just got no life. Because it's so good. What? We all know life. It. It's not the developer's fault. They're doing exactly what they need to do. The unfortunate thing is all the content creators out there are going to do the same thing where it's like, we're so bored because we have no more videos to make. So we're going to make everybody butthurt in the community and start harassing the developers for more content when they're doing exactly what they need to be doing right now, which is fixing all the problems with the game and then adding new content. We will get new content eventually. What? But I'm not looking forward to the content creator transition of complaining about not having things to make videos on and enraging the community because it's exactly what they're going to end up doing. I've seen that life cycle of games so much. Uh, over here. Okay. I believe... Alright, so we got... We need some flax. What you want for a flax? Ooh, muscle head and dainty eater. Okay. You want some Lego balls? I'll give some Lego balls. I feel like four Lego balls is a pretty good trade for, for a muscle head flax. It sold almost 19 million copies so far. Yeah. Creators should be testing out the Chicopee only playthroughs and such if they want additional content. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited for mods, honestly. I feel like if the mod community really, really takes off with this, the game is going to have an unbelievable lifespan. And that'll allow the developers, that'll give the players content to play. And developers time to do it without being harassed. We've a good home where it becomes a sex slave. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a good flack right there. Oh, there's Duda. Okay. Let's go. Who's got the ferocious flack? Sweet! By the way, I saw you testing the sword the other day. Lily Spear is actually quite good too. Around the same as a sword with a little more range, I feel. I like that. I, I, I really like that if it's got more range. I'll have to mess with it more. All right. The Fwax are going to be Fwacking. There's no way I'm not getting demonetized from all this Fwack talk. I should probably check the revenue from yesterday's stream and see if it got demonetized or not. <laughs> Shadow banned in the algorithm. Oh, uh, I didn't check to see if these were male and female flax. Oh, boy. Ah! Whack it. Wait. This flax has work slave. Didn't we get a ferocious flax? Oh, it's in here. We got a ferocious... Blah, 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 blah. 
<laughs> it's on like Donkey Kong. Wait, it's got Swift. Wait, whose flack was that? I'm so confused. Huh. Boop. What is this? Is this a swift whack? It's a speedy whack. There you go, Red Wolves. You want some Lego balls? All right. Now we need our ferocious whack back. Skirt. What? So right now what we're doing is we're taking our wild shadow beaks and we're breeding them together to try and get babies with the best base stats possible. And that's going to be the one that we breed um, at the end to try and get the best stats. So we've got 9 minutes here, 26 minutes here. I think the best case scenario for us right now is to maybe try and catch more Shadow Beak. While we wait. Or have fun. Was it... It's a Verdash... Verdash and Astagon for a shadow uh, for a shadow beak, right? Let's experiment with that and see what we get. We got an Astagon 43, 45. So that 43 already has way more attack because it has Sadist. 523 verse 556. What the heck? Wow. Oh, it's because it's weakened. 621 and 597. There's a runner. All right, we'll try it. Let's see what happens, you know? And we've already got some really, really, really good Verdash. Campfire by the eggs to instantly hatch them. That's not how that works. <laughs> oh my god, thick boy Astagon over here. Uh, no pro gaming. If you reclick the join button or go to the description, uh, there's a link to join the Discord. Uh, click the link and join it. Make sure to link your YouTube to your Discord account. It'll auto give you all the privileges to be able to access all the channels. Uh, you'll be able to join in uh, any of our PAL World servers, ARC servers. We'll be having Enshrouded and um, so we'll have Enshrouded servers as well as Nightingale when they release too. So lots of good stuff. We were going to play uh, Enshrouded today. Uh, but I think we're going to wait until Sunday to play Enshrouded. <laughs> Alright, we need Egos. More Egos, more better. Shaylina, how are you doing? Just a little cold now, what the heck? Man. <sighs> These eggs are so finicky. I tell you what. There you go. Four minutes. So we need a cooler and a fire, which makes complete sense. Uh, Suzune, it is a personal server. Although, if I was... I do host... So I host this streaming server from my own server at my house. And then I have a I have two servers through G Portal, which is the one that I recommend using if you're looking for a hosting provider. All hosting providers right now, as a caveat, are pretty bad. 
and that's not necessarily on the hosting provider's fault. The game is just not well optimized. It's uh, dedicated servers are experimental at the moment, and they don't run perfect. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a Red Bull. I will be right back. Oh, okay. So fat and out of shape, going up and down the stairs. Oh my god. Out of breath. Whew. Okay. Anyways, we're back. What the flack? Where's the eggs? You ain't got enough cake? You dirty little non penguin cake eating garbage pals. Mm hmm. Got your daily exercise in, Matt. I need way more than that, buddy. Oh boy, do I need more than that. <laughs> Forgot I need to make cake before I make anything else. Cake! Wonderful cake! We need so much cake. We need cake all day. Ultra cake mode. Engage. Wandering merchant. Back here. Mother. What you gonna do with all that cake? We're gonna make a lot of cake. Gonna make a lot of cake with all that milk. Never gonna farm up wheat or cake or eggs again. What would you give me for a lucky, ferocious flack right now? Back alley hand job, maybe? I don't know. Actually, you know what? I don't need the lucky stat. I would give you a crisp high five. Because we're instead of lucky, we're going to use uh, legend, which is better. I'd accept that. It's a deal! Extra Red Bull money and thanks for the server. Air Weaver, thank you very much. All the Alabamans unsubscribe from that comment. Air Weaver, thank you very much. Oh man, the Shadow Beak I just hatched is Ferocious Swift Runner and Sadist. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Nice. Huh? Did I screw up? Oh god, what are we making? We're making a Kitsune. 
I forgot what we were doing and I screwed up really bad. I don't remember what I was doing. We need kits in. What are we doing right now? Okay, yeah, Van Wireman Verdash does make a kit soon. Okay, I'm not wrong. I'm just wrong in whatever I just did. Welcome to the Thunderdome, ladies and gentlemen. Where sometimes you just screw up, no matter how many times you do things. Mm -mm -mm. Right, so we're trying to make a Kitsune with a Van Wyrm and a Verdash, and we're trying to make a Verdash with a Fwack and a Van Wyrm, right? Right. Yeah? Yeah. Seems a little hot. What the friggity frackity frick? Get back to work. We need a Van Wyrm for? The Van Wyrm needs to get its groove on with a flack. We're just gonna make a Verdash. Then we take that Verdash and breed it with a Van Wyrm to make a Kitsune. Let me take that kit soon and we breed it with an Astagon. Get to work! Yep. Boop! First Shadow Beak. Level Juan. All right, so we need to make sure that we are uh, doing this right. There we go. We want to make sure our shadow beaks don't come out of here because we want to be able to compare the base stats. So we have 110 attack, 63 defense. I wonder. Pal world. Pal trainer. I wonder. What's in my wonder ball, right? Um. I'm curious, because we've been wondering what these stat allocations are. And we've got Shadow Beak, right? So I'm wondering if we already have the information on the stat allocations than we thought. Right? Get, get out of here. Freaking ads. So I'm wondering, so we have 130 attack, 120 magic attack, and 140 defense, right? I'm wondering if that number there is actually the maximum you can get. Now that doesn't make any sense. The maximum you could get on a level one pal. The defense is too low. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's how that works. I, don't know, I just had like a, oh, maybe that's a thing. I don't think that's a thing. The eggs are still taking 48 plus hours to incubate. Any suggestions? You need to change your egg incubation timer in your settings. Hmm. I wonder. If there is anything to that, though. Wish I had a whole bunch of level 1... So that, that, yeah, that can't be true because Fox Sparks has at level one 106 attack already. 
which is more than what's on the website. So, nope. <laughs> According to the breeding Excel sheet, Shadow Beak can have 120 HP, 130 attack, and 140 defense. Yeah, that's not the way it works. We literally just confirmed it, but that is what its ratings are on the website. That has nothing to do with the actual stat allocations of the PAL. It's a long process. I've already explained it at the beginning of the video and proved it to anybody who doesn't believe me. Um, but we will continue on. We need more eggs. More eggs, please. All right, we got Ferocious and Hooligan on there. Okay, I'll take it. Mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> okay. There's a site with a builder where you can check IVs for each level. Why don't you share it? I haven't seen it yet. Let's see our PAL world IV calculator. If a PAL world IV calculator sheets. So this is just for Jormantide and download the file to use it. It's a bit of a mess. This is from two days ago, so it hasn't had a lot of progress on it yet. After further investigation, it looks like the minimum in IVs can be found according to the following method. Okay, there we go. Go to the website Power World Trainer and check for statistics of the related pal. In my example, Anubis has 120 HP. From there, take the 500 base HP, common for each pal, and then add 50% of the value. This is the minimum value. IV0 will have 560 HP. So, okay. Yeah, I was on the right track then. Man, dick bag, I was on the right track on my own. Okay. Now for your max HP, you'll again have 50% of the previous value. So 560 plus 60 plus 30. 590 seems to be the maximum uh, IV100. Okay. For attack and defense, the values seem to be around 7.5 base and a 30% variation. Interesting. There's another post about it too. Um, so let's see here. So we have species scaling. Every regular pal starts with those stats. So all pals in game have the exact same base stats at level 0. HP 500, attack 100, and defense 50. Every regular pal starts with those stats as they level up, including level 1. They gain additional stats based on their spe uh, species-specific scaling value and their individual scaling value factor IV. So each species has a different HP attack and defense value that is used to determine how many stats they gain per level. Pals gain 50%, 0.5 of their HP value. So we, we noticed that happen with our eggs that hatched. Where I said it, sound, it seems like there's a 0.5 somewhere in here, which is why there was a discrepancy in the attack that one time. So it was already on the right track. And 0.75% of the um, attack and defense value when they level up. Those are minimum stats gained. They can be further improved by the IV described below. Welcome to the nerdy stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Bow, 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 bow. Example, Jet Dragon would gain 55 HP, defense each level. 
Okay, that's cool. So individual values. This is what I want to learn more about. Each individual pal also has a random scaling factor assigned to it that increases the species-specific scaling value. This bonus only applies to the level up stat gains from the pal and does not increase the base stats. Each of the three, so HP, attack, and defense, have different IV. This means you can have a pal that has great HP scaling but terrible attack scaling, or a pal that has exceptionally lucky with both great HP and great attack scaling. The range for this IV has been determined uh, by me logging the stats from hundreds of pals I caught by playing this game and finding the minimum and maximum variance in calculating their IVs. I also use other people's highest stat screenshots to help establish a maximum value. So none of this has actually been data mined, but it's just a lot of research. This is the same thing that I was already doing. Um, so we have this right here. Uh, let's make a copy of this. How do I get to level super fast? Uh, defeat bosses. Oh, there's a copy mirror eight. <laughs> Okay, so this is for that. All right, anyway, hold on. Let's check our eggs real quick. I want to see what we got. I think we got one more ready to hatch. Or not. Oh, god dang it. Boop. Oh man. I'm only catching on fire. <sighs> Need a new guild name, no flax to give. Perfect. Did we get any more so we gotta hatch our flak egg. What? I need to put Gale uh Gale Claw back on. Makes getting around so much easier. Early body. Man. So we've got... Oh, we got... We didn't even have burly body on one of these. Alright. I almost wonder... I wish I had a better... A better option than flax. Bam, bam, bam. Alright, we'll hatch this one, and we'll compare the stats to the other one that we got. I wanted to to hatch another random one. We'll see. Uh, but also, Raging, if you're talking about your player level, player level, you catch 10 of everything to level up fast. For pals, you defeat bosses, and the pals will level up fast. I really wish there was a better cooling system in the game. It looks so happy with itself for slacking off right now. Didn't want to breed the monkey tansy with the flak. Well, we uh we didn't have the the good breeding pair to make a flak. Plus, uh, people came and gave us the two flaks that we needed. What other pals would you suggest for a mining base besides Anubis for a medium game player? Anubis is going to be the best one until you get to uh, Blazamut or Astagon. At that point, it's going to be a personal preference between the two. I like Blazamut more than Astagon. Personally. Actually, we're going to swap out. Let's just add a couple more. 
Foxicles are smaller. We can do Raindrakes. They're pretty small. A lot of Foxicle, too. At least between all three of these, they should be keeping that cooler going. <clears throat> Anubis is going to be your best mining pal no matter what until you get to either Astagon or Blasmut, who have the exact same mining skill. We've been over this like a hundred times. Every other miner is useless until then, because you can get Anubis so early. Okay, was this the one? Where did it go? Alright, so we got a... No here. Do we get any negatives? So we got a... Uh, yeah, a negative 15% attack. So we got 110 attack on that one, 100 attack on this one. And then we got 62 defense. So these are popping up pretty similarly from our from our wild-caught ones. I did not forget Dig Toys. <laughs> he ain't do much, but his enthusiasm is contagious. Doomud is worse than uh, is worse than Anubis. Anubis has better uh, other skills than uh, Doomud. Just get an Anubis. You can breed for Anubis at l the second you unlock. I don't want to talk about it for like the 15th time today. If you want to see how broken Anubis is, or uh, not Anubis, how broken Digtoys is, you can go earlier in the stream where we showed how badly it works compared to everything else. Um, we went over this whole mining thing earlier. If you, you can rewind the streaming, <laughs> you can see it for yourself. Do, 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 do. Dick Toys went on strike. Dick Toys did go on strike. Hmm? Alright, pick up that for now. Shoot, it's already eight. Um, right. I really wanted to breed more Shadow Beak while we were doing this, but it's already been three hours. Uh, it's probably a good place to stop for today. Um, do we have our next egg? I think the next egg isn't for a little while. All right, we'll wait for this last egg and see what it, what pops out. Dig Toys is only good. Oh god, I'm getting so tired of talking about Dig Toys. <sighs> Dig Toys is only good if you have the necklace or whatever it's called, and you throw it out from your party, and you sit there and you watch it mine or you mine with it. For actively mining is the best pal to have with you for actively mining, which is the worst way to do mining in the game. So if you want the best pal for the worst way to do the job, get a Dig Toys. Dig Toys is completely broken as a base pal for mining. It will not passively mine properly for you. And it is the worst base pal for mining. If you want the best of the worst way, get a Dig Toys. If you want the best of the best way, your only two options that I recommend is get an Anubis through breeding early. as level 3 mining, level 4 handiwork, and level 2 transporting, which means it's going to mine for you. And it's going to put all of your stuff in boxes for you. Where all the other mining pals will not do that except for Tombat. Tombat is a really, really good early game option. Level 2 transporting and level 2 mining. So I would use a Tombat or a Pen King until you get to Anubis, which you can breed really early in the game. And then you either go with Astagon or Blazamut. I like Blazamut more because it has level 3 kindling and it's kind of a 2 for 1 special. But a whole bunch of Anubis you can get at the early game is, is 
good enough too. So, anyways, slings. Dig toys look super cool though. I wish they gave him level four mining. Time about will get distracted in your mining base as farm spots. Yep. Do, 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 do. 35 seconds. Uh, but I had a whole bunch of Tombats for my first mining base, and they don't get distracted very very often, especially if a whole bunch of them, which you're probably going to have. So it's, it's really not that bad. Plus, you're going to need your pals farming up food for you anyway, so it's kind of nice at the beginning of the game uh, to have the Tombats because they fill a role for you. But it's a game and everything's uh, subjective. Everybody's allowed to have their own favorites. All right, so we haven't gotten the, the FWAC stats transferred over yet. That one's being a little bit rough. We got Swift, Cold Blooded, and Pyromaniac. Nice. Okay. Yeah. All coming out with very similar attack and defense modifiers, except for the partner skill changes. Um, anyways, I do hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, if you want to get more in depth into the the whole breeding process, release the video today as everything but um, an in depth analysis of the explaining the IVs. But we go into it. Uh, but other than that, hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful night. Deca, pay attention. Good lord, the difference is because of the passive skills, which I said. If you go into and you actually have to pay attention and look at your base stats, 110 and 63, base stats 110 and 62, base stats 111 and 60. And yes, that is different, but I'm looking to get two of the same ones so I can breed those together so I always get the same base stats. Anyways, it's all stuff that I explained earlier in the stream. Uh, but I do hope you all have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, we will be doing Enshrouded this weekend. I think we're going to do Enshrouded Sunday, maybe tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but I do hope uh, we'll do, so we might do two streams tomorrow. We might do Pal World and Enshrouded tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for that one. We'll launch a community server. So all the members that are in the community will be able to play on the Enshrouded server with us as well. So we'll make sure to launch it at the same time. Uh, we'll have to kind of look into that one, though, because in Enshrouded, for some strange reason, the story progress carries over on everyone that plays on the server. So it's a little bit weird. We'll figure it out, though. <laughs> Essentially, one person can do, like, the whole story on Enshrouded, and then nobody else can. It's been one of the reasons why I've been avoiding it. I was hoping they would patch it. But anyways, yeah. 